Hey, what's going on, people? Knowledge here. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking, uh, you know, why my content has been slowing down. And, you know, to be quite frank, I've been having a lot of issues with YouTube. I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, they're not letting me monetize my videos. Actually, I haven't been able to monetize my videos since last year. So, um, you know, it's just been a lot of drama going on. And um, I've been trying to contact these YouTube people, which they're extremely hard to get in contact with and it could be because i'm a black youtuber because it seems like out here on youtube you're only your channel's only protected if you're out here cooning or you're out here you know clowning and buffooning other than that if you have something of substance to say you get attacked you get uh you know false flag you got a consistent troll which i don't have an issue with the trolls i've been getting that since 2011 but the, the, the bottom line is that your channel and your content is not protected. So I've been having a lot of issues. You know, they haven't been um, letting me monetize my videos. And I have an issue with that. Not for the money because I never got on YouTube for the money. Actually, I just started getting checks from YouTube, what, last year. So, you know, it, it's never been for the money. It's been, you know, basically, um, you know, a, a labor of love. But... I have an issue with putting out consistent content on YouTube because no matter what we do, what we talk about on here, anytime we upload a video, we are marketing the brand of YouTube. We're, we're giving them an audience and I don't feel like, you know, I should come out here given the audience that I have. I don't feel like I should come out here and do, you know, tons and tons of videos if I'm not being compensated for my work or I'm not being protected like a lot of these other youtubers out here so you know that that's what kind of why i've been slowing down on it but you know i am going to branch off and you know take my brand elsewhere and um you know try to start you know a podcast a lot of people have been asking me to do that because you know at this point it's just time to you know branch off and get away from youtube but you know it, it also leads me to you know this list that has been surfacing about a whole bunch of black youtubers that I, from from what I read, you know, the sisters are going after. You know, I saw a couple of YouTubers that I watch. Um, I saw Tommy Sotomayor on there. Uh, I think Tariq Nashi. And what trips me out about this is that, and like, like I said, I'm gonna put this out here. Allegedly, black women because we have had people, you know, come around these trolls, racist white folks come around and pretend like they're black, but they're really not. So I will put that out there allegedly, but they're attacking black men. Now, what gets me is that you got races out here. You got uh, young underage children shaking their ass on these YouTube videos. You got porno out here. You got child pornography. But you guys don't come together and go after that. You don't go after cats that are doing that. But you, you come after, you organize and come after the brothers out here. Now, let me put this out here. I don't always agree with... Um, you know, some of the content that a lot of these brothers are putting out about black women. Sometimes I don't even agree with the tone, but I do understand where a lot of these brothers are coming from. I understand, you know, where a lot of these sisters are coming from when they have certain issues with uh, the black man. But at the same time, what we do in our community is we're quick to go after our own, but we don't attack the outside forces. Then I go in my, my inbox the other day. And I get a message from some sister saying, oh, well, if you get out of line, we're going to add you to the list also. And I don't know why, <laughs> you know, y'all want to come after me because I don't even do a tons of videos talking about the black woman or relationships or anything like that. I actually try to stay away from those topics simply because I think it's redundant out here. I think, you know, all those those, those topics need to be discussed. I think it, it, it's feeding into this, this so-called this so black gender war. So what I do is I come out here and I try to talk about the issues that we have within our community and the issues that we have from people and sources outside of our community. And we both can collectively sit down, come up with ideas, and actually understand what's really going on out here and what forces are creating the whole the, the, the whole negative vibe between the black man and the black woman. Now, for you sisters, you know, this is sisters out here doing this and creating this list. You guys need to check yourself because there's a misconception out here that the black man doesn't want to protect the black woman or, you know, uh, uh, you know, we're out here shitting on black women and, and women. Excuse me. And don't get me wrong that 
there are people out here who just simply don't like black women for whatever personal reasons they got. Like I said, you know, in previous videos, there's been guys out here who, you know, um, have, have been mistreated by black women, have been looked over by black women, et cetera, et cetera. So they have their issues as well as black women. Okay. But a lot of times what we do in our, you know, community is that we take bad decisions that, that we have created or bad choices we've made and we put that on an entire gender. Okay. I don't always agree with the whole, uh, nice guy thing. Cause I think a lot of these nice guys out here, quote unquote, nice guys just want the pussy, you know, no matter how trifling the woman is. But the fact that she wants to go with that, that asshole, quote unquote, bad boy, they get offended by that. But also there are genuine nice guys out here who have just been mistreated by black women, who have been looked over by black women. So I understand the frustration that, you know, some of these guys are going through as well as black women. There have been black women who had to basically take on the role of, you know, a father and a mother. You know, so I, I understand, um, you know, those, those sources and, and that, that agony that, that we deal with in a certain spectrum of our community. But at the same time. That's not for you to, you know, you guys are come together and unify to attack these brothers out here. They're expressing their opinions and thoughts and feelings just like you guys are. If we could take a look at that, uh, that thing that happened, what was that, about a week or two ago with the whole uh, Misha Beauty Supply, okay? And, uh, you know, the, the, the store owner tackled that sister down like a goddamn wrestler. It was black men out there in Chicago boycotting the other location of the quote unquote Misha uh, beauty supply. It was black men out there with you guys standing next to you, protecting you, getting in those people's asses because they disrespected the sister in their community. So there are brothers out there that want to protect you, want to love you, want to provide for you. But you guys got to got to stop the bullshit. Stop attacking your own men. OK, yeah, we got some asshole guys out here that, you know, don't take care of their responsibilities, have self hate hatred issues. But that's not for you to go after these brothers simply because they come out here on YouTube and they express their opinion. They got the right to do it like anybody else. What you need to do is go after go after the police department. The people who are harassing our children. Go after these goddamn pedophiles out here. Go after these racists and these people who practice white supremacy day in and day out. Those are the people you guys need to unify with us to push back on. The issues that we deal with in our community comes down to a lack of understanding for each other. A lack of communication and a lack of knowledge from outside forces that contribute to the destruction in our community. That's where all this comes from. But instead of, you know, a group of us just sitting back and saying, you know what, even though I don't agree with everything that, you know, this brother, this sister is saying, let, let me listen to him. Let me, you know, um, understand where or try to understand where this brother, this sister is coming from. So, you know, it's just it, it's sad that, you know, you got a group of people, a group of sisters out here that will organize and come together to attack brothers but y'all won't do that to go after these other cats out here. Don't go after these brothers that, you know, expressing their opinion. Because a lot of these guys, even though you guys might not agree with their philosophy on things, you know, they're, they're pretty decent dudes. Go after that asshole dude that won't take care of his responsibilities. Go after the, 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 the game bang in the community. Go after the cat that's selling drugs in this community. Go after them. Join us to go after those people. Go after the people that's practicing white supremacy in this country. That's who you need to go after. Don't attack cats like me or, you know, uh, uh, Tariq Nashi and a lot of these other brothers out here that's trying to put our substance on YouTube. Because we getting enough hell just simply being on YouTube, putting substance out here. Because they don't want us, they don't want brothers to come out here and speak. They always want to silence the black man. That's why when you see these news coverages out here, they're quick to put the black woman in front of the camera. They don't want brothers to speak. They don't want us with, with, with knowledge and understanding to speak truth to power to a lot of these young cats out here. They don't want us doing that. So when you guys come out here and you organize against us, Despite whether you agree with the things that we say or, you know, you don't agree with it, you, you, you're causing destruction to your own people. 
But all I got to say is, you know, leave me the hell alone. You know, I, I don't I don't come out here and promote this black gender war. You know, do, do, have I had issues with sisters in my community? Absolutely. But I understand both sides. I understand that, you know, all women out there, all sisters out there are not uh, tacky and trifling and want to shit on the black male. But then there are groups that are doing that. And you sisters that are coming out here attacking these brothers... And me, you know, and threatening me to, to, to put me on the list, you guys are wrong.